What's up? How's it going? So there's some stuff here to cover up. Let's get it started. First up, okay, this is pretty cool, I guess, if you want to call it. As you guys can see from the picture, Triple H is holding on to the new belt. I mean, of course, he will be the first one to touch it. Um, it's pretty much the same belt they've been using, uh, the WWE Championship. Uh, except the fact they have plastered the new WWE logo um, and they took off the scratch logo and that's pretty much it I don't know I mean I have to see it uh, I was getting used to the, uh, the the belt that was presented by The Rock a year and a half ago or something like that uh, but then again it's whatever we'll just see what, how, how that goes in case you guys don't know uh, August 17th? When is Summer Slime? It's around that time. Or August 16th. Anyways, there will be a completely rebranding of the company logo thing. You know, I mean, they're gonna change. Or is it rebranding the company? Or within the company, they're gonna uh, do a change of the logo or something like that. Uh, the Scratch logo is gonna be taken out and it's gonna be replaced by this one. The one that you guys see with the uh, WWE Network. That's the logo. And uh, lots of people are saying that they may let John Cena debut it um, at SummerSlam. So in that way, you know, because Brock Lesnar is going to win. And, you know, if they don't want him to come out with a new belt all of a sudden in the next night. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, changes are possible. I mean, could could happen where Bra uh, Brock Lesnar may come out next night and Triple H may present him the new championship because the new logo is going to surface uh, you know on TV on Monday Night Raw the next night after SummerSlam okay so there's that um, okay this is another big one Friday Night Smackdown may not be Friday Night Smackdown anymore as you guys can see from the picture uh, there's the WWE truck and on it it says Thursdays instead of Fridays uh, it's a new picture because of the logo as you guys can see right there right beside one of the Usos um, uh, although you know WWE officials haven't commented yet on it um, and I never saw that this will be happening anytime sooner um, now correct me if I'm wrong impact airs Thursday night right so I don't know why are they doing this even though it wouldn't matter anyways still it's whatever um, it kind of is a good thing because there are a few people who go out on Fridays and can't watch SmackDown. Uh, regardless of the fact, people know that it's a taped episode. It's a, um, uh, you know, that they can DVR it. Although, you know, they can watch it later on. Uh, I'm one of those guys. If I um, see something exciting on the spoilers, yeah, of course, you know, people release all the information on the internet. Um, if there's something really good, I'll go back and watch it. But, you know, I'll probably skip everything. Um, it's just the way how it is now these days. I mean, I can't really watch SmackDown much when you're doing so much other things. Okay, so there's that. Um, and the main stuff right here. Okay, Hulk Hogan is supposed to be making an appearance on this upcoming Monday Night Raw for his birthday celebration uh, from Portland. Now, there are rumors saying that there could be an NWO reunion with Hogan, Scott Hall, and Kevin Nash. Because, um, who tweeted? Let me see. Oh, Hall. Hall was the one who tweeted saying this. Somebody says something about an NWO reunion. Dot, 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 dot. Hashtag raw. So, like... That there's a speculation. I mean, we may see them. It is pretty cool, but like something recently happened. The loss of WWE fans or like wrestling fans are ticked off at Hall. And uh, I think the reason why is because um, something happened this past week. Uh, I believe uh, Scott Hall refused to sign a birthday card for this kid who is uh, fighting brain cancer or something like that. I haven't read the whole story or whatnot, but I heard there were plenty of superstars, wrestlers, um, who have signed that kid's birthday card and Scott Hall didn't you know, sign it. And the weird part is um, people participated in Scott Hall surgery. You know, I was part of that. I donated um, some money 
so you know in that way Scott Hall can get a speedy recovery and everything you know I was uh, you know participating for that you know whole year with I was following up with whatever was going on with the DDP thing you know and all that uh, but anyways part of that is just you know it's one of those things where you know people are just kind of mad because everybody were like you know oh man Scott Hall is in such a bad shape I feel bad for him I wish he gets really good or better you know in better shape and he kind of did now and now this happened uh you know uh which I don't know what Scott Hall said you know about it so I don't know either ways I think fans will be happy to see Scott Hall so there's that um let's see what else and that's it that is it for today uh thank you guys for watching I'm um, hoping you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.